Good evening, and welcome again to another episode of Truth Beyond Paranormal. Tonight, we have returned to the Suffolk coastal town of Dunwich. Here lies the body of Jacob Forster, the last inhabitant of the All Saints Church Cemetery. In 1758, the church was decommissioned, and the church would have stood 40 metres east of this point. Jacob Forster is the last person here and still remains to this day. There are many stories of hauntings in Dunwich. One is that of an angry man searching for his adulterous wife along this very footpath. Got a sneaky suspicion, yeah, that it's a child, it's a playful spirit. I think it seems to be doing the total opposite of what you want it to do. Um, if your child point to the left, it certainly doesn't want to do what you're asking it no. to do, no. <laughs> it's doing something completely different. Well, maybe Ellen, if you went on them, it's been pointing to you. I can try, but I'm not that good with them. Or maybe a female, if you could record. If, I mean, if, if Ellen tried. Like, if you would like Ellen to come forward and, and take the dowsing right. rods, will you communicate then? Can you move the rods forward to the front? See that you had yeah, from before. The four that you've got here is probably back into my head. Is your name Charlotte? Can you have Weird. For yes, I was just about to say Charlotte as well. <laughs> That's very strange. Ooh. Yeah. That's definitely a name there, isn't it? On the way up here, didn't you get the names with the, the sort C? Of yeah. yeah, we we just confirmed and said, was yeah. that the same C that you were talking about in the car? And Charlotte was the first name that I was thinking of when she said C. So that's a bit back weird. To the middle, I don't please, know why, Charlotte. But, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously on recording, um, and normally this camera always highlight and point out something of interest to focus on yeah and for some unknown reason it's focusing on your left foot my left foot charlotte my are left you foot. standing next to this Sam? one here yeah. yeah can you open them if you are please oh hi there charlotte thank you so much wow i just got the like a thud right on the top of my foot like, it hurt. Like, <laughs> wow, okay. Thank you very much, Charlotte. Is there anybody else here <coughs> with you? Could you open them for yes, because from Simone? No. Wow. That was quick. Um, that was a very quick a response. A quick update for anybody who has uh, just recently joined onto the live feed. We are currently in the chapel of what is the remains of a leper hospital was here. Um, people in the surrounding area that suffered from leprosy were sent here um, to be kept out of the way from the majority of the, the public. Um, obviously eventually the leper hospital became ruins and the chapel is the only surviving part of that, um, of that complex. Um, and obviously since then Whoa. St James's Church <laughs> was built over the remains. <laughs> That's scared. That's convenient. <laughs> the that church bells start ringing. Charlotte. Sort of. Was that you? Charlotte, could you point to my fiance, please? Whoa. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Charlotte. Yes. Wrong bloke. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ignore him. Thank you, Charlotte. Ignore him. <laughs> Ignore him, Charlotte. He's having a laugh. You're correct, Charlotte. Thank you. Wow. That was good. Sorry, Charlotte, you'll, you'll get used to me. I'm a bit of a joker. Charlotte, can you point to Sam, please? Can you point? Oh, wow. Hello? <laughs> wow! She responded as well to me when I said hello. She's moving can with you, me. Can 
Can you bring them back to the center? That's crazy. She was moving when I was moving. That is odd. I've never seen that. I was I was going backwards and forwards like that and she was moving as well. That is weird. The bells. <laughs> the bells, that bit. That yeah, scared me. Don't chime, don't chime on the hours. It's only 11 o'clock now, so... Yeah, it just scared me. I was like, what? <laughs> Charlotte, could you point to where you're standing, please? Are you standing between Mark and Mick here? Could you open them up for us, please? Wait. That was the cut. So they were talking about there being a cold spot around here in this area. If you can see my torch moving, and she has just confirmed with the dowsing rods just now that she was the one standing there between them, and they felt the cold spot. You probably saw that earlier when they were trying to understand what that was. That's fine. Thank you very much, Charlotte. Could you speak into my microphone? I'll put it down a little bit for you. Because if you are a child... Whoa, sorry guys. This little device here, just by the side of me. Can you point to the microphone, please? Can you say your name? Could you say your name, please, into the camera? Has my torch gone off? No, it hasn't. Okay. Can you bring it back to the centre, please? Charlotte, would you like to be moved on from here? No. No, no. You, di you didn't direct the question. You did not say yes, yes or no. You need to open. You need to. You need to. I'll ask you again, Charlotte. Would you like to be moved on from here? Open for yes, close for no. Charlotte, are you waiting for someone? Open for yes, close for no. She's waiting. Mm. That's are you waiting sad. for your parents or your mum? Go back to the centre, please. Are you waiting for your mum to come? Open for yes, close for no. Um. <sighs> okay. Can you go back to the centre, please? Probably is it no when Charlotte died. Yeah. yeah. Well, some people have just asked, is Charlotte earthbound or in visitation? Well, she doesn't like being here. I think she's stuck here. I think she's stuck, isn't she? Yeah, yeah we... She doesn't want to move on. We doesn't... So she w she's waiting for someone as well, so she doesn't... She's stuck here until yeah. that person comes along. You know what, there's, um, That's there's sad. That Charlotte, are you stuck here until your parents come? Open for yes, close for no. Be careful, Ellen, because your hands are shaking. Yeah, no, I'm going to... Okay, the, thank you. I need to just the last one as well. And in this part of the investigation, we have Ellen with the K2. We have Ooh. Mick armed with uh, your dictaphone. Is that? Yep. Yep. And we have Sam with a selfie Hello stick. There. Yep. I've got. And I've got recording equipment. Dressed here. up. Dressed up for the winter. It's currently two degrees here. Yep. Um, and we have Marcus. Yes, a very British summer. So we will start calling out. Do you, should I put um, my phone off of the light? Yeah, because I've, I've put this one here, so we've got substantial light room. Really. Right. Okay. Are there? If there are any spirits here in this location with us, 
can you please come forward? We come with the greatest of respect and we mean you no harm and we will not ask you to move on. Can you come forward and communicate with us? We have a black box with some lights on it. Can you make them flash if you're here with us? That's a bit strange because again, I've not seen it do that before. Whereby it doesn't go all the way up; it's flashing all different lights. I didn't. I didn't bring the other meter with me. If I'd have brought the other meter, that may have given us a different reading. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think it's reacting to your voices. Oh, sorry, mate. It's Thank you. If that's you making that light flash. Um, can you can you make any of the other lights do the same? It won't be reacting to my phone, by the way, if I get close because it's on flight mode. Just to well, it won't, doesn't matter how close your phone gets if it's on flight mode. That won't interfere yeah, with it because it it's not receiving or transmitting. So yeah, fine. It's the only cool. way that will affect a K2. That is weird. Mm -hmm. I've not seen it do that. I've, I've never seen a K2 meter do that, and that's a brand new battery. I've always replaced the batteries every investigation. Yeah, I've never, um, I've never so ever seen that. So to have it do that. that, that's bizarre. And it, it's the fact that it's keeping that, that green one on the whole time, and then just flashing the red. I've never seen that happen before. That is odd. What does it mean when I've got... <laughs> I've got a box... Oh, well, look. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've got a box with a one come up at the bottom of my screen. And when I click on it, it's add someone. Oh. Allow viewers to send you a request to join your broadcast. You can add them at any point. Oh well. No. You see for me, <laughs> that that red light is getting brighter <coughs> on the screen mm. as well. I don't yeah. know if for you, Ellen. When you're watching, oh, and it's yeah, like, it does. Thank you, it's, got, it's got various. Yes, Peter, all's going well, thank you. It's getting very, we, very cold here. Should we ask a question or something? And see if it, it flashes, uh, or, or tell it to stop flashing, and then tell it to flash again. I'd, I'd, say, I'd say get it to light up Evening all of Beth. them. We've got uh, Beth, my friend Beth Beresford from Australia. She's, um, Hello, she's Beth. watching us. And Mohammed Cade. Has uh, joined us. Could we see what we have done if the lights were off? Right, well, I'll let. Hang on, if I can find the switch. There we go, right at the end. Yeah, so all you guys are going to see now is the lights. Okay, we've gone lights out. Ooh. That's definitely. Oh, and Joe's joined us. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. This is very, weird. It's very unusual for a K2 meter. Tracy Evans joined us. Hello, Tracy. Hey, Trace. Is it dimmer and lighter? Yeah. yeah. It's pulsing. It's pulsating with the light. I've never known a K2 to well, meter I'm to do gonna... that. Never go from. Oh. Um, never to go from green straight to red with hardly any interaction with any of the lights in between. And then. Right, to I'm going to I'm gonna let go of it and just let it rest on my legs. Spirit, can you turn the light off for a moment? Can you step away for a moment? Well, Pete, Peter's just said it's absolutely throwing it down with rain up in Scotland and he's got one well, wet. Oh. So, oh, Peter. I feel like my feet really when oh. I got my long johns on. Oh. Right now, wet head. Spirit. you a question so I'd like you to step away from the, the box with the lights and only light it up 
in response to my question. I don't think he wants to be interested in stopping the light for some reason. <laughs> does it does it depend on whether they're um, intelligent spirit or not? No, well, it's, it's about electromagnetic frequency, yeah. isn't it? So I, I just don't think he's it's down to the electromagnetic field. And that's why we can't understand why that. Yeah, it's how, gone straight how from can green to red. There's five lights in between that, and they're hardly they're hardly lighting. Yeah, there's no chance in hell that even when it was at, at our place. Well, thank Mark, you, Robin. Even when it was at our place, Mark, every time it would go straight, it would go up all of them, so it would yeah. go from green, amber, and then red. We're all good, thanks, Mohammed. We're, we're getting a little bit cold here. It's uh, two degrees at the moment, and we've got a wind blowing in off the North Sea. So uh, we're certainly starting to feel the effects of the cold. Uh, Joe, yes, um, when we, we, we got back from our first location, uh, I was shaking, so I broke out the long johns. He did. Uh, and got changed and ended up getting wet feet. We have video evidence oh. of this. The weather is starting to get to people. Uh, we have a majority of us that are bursting to go to the luxury. Don't know what you're on about. <laughs> <laughs> through that entrance gate and I was getting really really cold. Yeah I felt now really... I'm out here I'm starting to warm up. Yeah and I and I also feel, felt so disorientated. I, when I came out of there it felt like I was floating. That was really freaking weird. Well I can see everything. As you can see, you can literally not see anything in front in front of our faces right now. <laughs> Graham said you should go for a swim. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Potential orb activity going on there, or it could be a mozzie. <laughs> that sky. Well, I'm not worried about the sky, I'm worried about what I can hear behind us. Did you hear that as well, Wayne? It sounded like someone was walking behind us. It, it sounded like somebody was running up behind us. Oh, please don't say that. No, it, it did. It sounded like someone was coming up behind us. Did you did you did you guys hear that at all? Like there was somebody walking behind us because I could feel I could almost feel it. Hold up. The actual primary wall. Yeah. Yeah, have the light on me for for a minute. Oh, oh yeah, it's no. It's alright, Graham. It's the fact that we had to walk um, from St. James's Church. It's really weird. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, this is going very strange as well. Look at how out of focus that is. It never does that. Well, I went to use my. Um, right, that's focused. And now it's kind of focused. Along the cliffs, up to the location. Focus. And then it just no. goes straight right, back anyway. into out of focus. Focused? No. And usually, because there's light on you, there's something in front. Oh, there you go. It's gone. As soon as I said there's something in front of you, it, it, it went straight away. As soon, as soon as you went, it went back into out of focus. It was weird because as soon as I said, you know, Ooh. you're not in focus it, it it was as if 
you know like um when something's been caught on camera yeah and it didn't and it doesn't want to be it was kind of like that sort of yeah. thing and then it just disappeared Looks so surreal. We had a rather strange occurrence where we had a piece of stone um, that was laying on the floor, clearly moved in front of us, only no one was standing near it. So it was um, quite, um, oh God, the motion light's gone off. It was uh, quite strange to see that as no one was near it. It is alleged that uh, one, one of the stories from around this area is a monk um, that still believes he has the right to be here and walks around the area. There's one of our trigger object stones uh, that we placed earlier on that hasn't moved, so that's still here. This was the issue we had last time we were here. It was playing around with us. Was it the, was it the fiery where you said that you couldn't get we only had a little bit, but we were off camera because there, there wasn't much going on. So yeah. we sort of, like Peter Fox, um, did a quick walk around and said that the monk is here, but not present at the time. So the monk does float around, around here, but he wasn't with us and it, we never really got much. So we never really filmed all that much here. Um, and then we headed down towards the beach. So... It's certainly, I mean, Mohammed has actually come up with a point that I know of about uh, St. James's Church where we were earlier. Oh, yeah. He said, is there a lost child here? I might be wrong. Now, we had that with Charlotte down at St. James's Church. Um, she may have attached herself to you, Ellen. That's fine by me. As long as I don't have to, as long as it's not me, because I've taken home lots <laughs> you, take, you take home too many. Yeah. You end up taking home the wrong ones, though. I do, yeah. <laughs> it does feel very, um, yeah, it's oppressive. Quite oppressive. The light keeps coming out. Yeah, it's, for me, it's my back. It's like there's just this weight on my back. Hey. Like you wouldn't believe. Nothing around. Do you keep feeling like there's something there? Like behind I you? only feel that there's something there when I walk off on my own. When, when can I'm I walk off with you then, just for a second, to see whether I feel it? Because yeah. I can literally, I just feel like there's this weight on my back, like there's something that's just literally on me. Yeah, come on, come with me. Right, Lisa says, do you pick up at all? Someone may have got shot or stabbed in their right side. Obviously, during the 1538 Dissolution Act... That could have happened. ...this place would have been demolished and the monks would have been rounded up, so it's quite possible, possible. that that could have happened. Like during the wartime yeah. or something. Well, like Joe says, there's a man and a child were in the doorway. There is someone hiding but scared to come forward. If if you are hiding at... What's that? What? Under the sign there. That's, that's mine. I was going to say that weren't here when we were here earlier. Yeah, could you, could you imagine? <laughs> Jesus. Somebody Shall just I left that just there. Down in the door. Donation. Yeah. David. David. Yeah, but, oh. David. David. Yeah, you, you also moved it as well, and it's. Oh, take that off me, please. Yep, yeah, same here. I um, my oh. back is killing me, and I'm not happy.
You've got cramp. I just feel like someone's just chopped me in half. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's gone right under me ribs. It's gone right through from back to front. Take it off, please. It really hurts as well, doesn't it? It's like I can't breathe. I think that that is the monk doing that. Jesus. Well. If, if you are hiding from us, Spirit, are you worried about us or scared about us? Please don't. We are friendly. We are here to help. Please come forward. We mean you no harm. Yeah. I remember talking to a girl called Madeline, or a woman called Madeline, who said that she... Something come up earlier about Madeline, didn't it? Well, it's funny, because... Where was it? Did it say it? Was that up here or at St James's? I think it was at St James's. It may have gone with the name St James's. I remember there was a Jordan, your name came yeah, up. Yeah, oh, that was at St James's, wasn't yeah. it? So we got this, uh, this Madeline character said that she'd been gassed. Uh, then, gassed. then she asked, who are they? And then it said, a port. Well, a bork could be in relation to the radar system that was here during the war. That's what I thought. Ow. This ground is so uneven. Bonjour. Where was it we had the name Madeline come through? It was here, not at St James. No, it was just now on here and I've recorded that. But I thought the name Madeline came out before. Madison. Madison. Oh, well, yeah. it's not that far off. Uh, Johnny Smith. Hi, everyone watching from Seekers of Souls Paranormal UK. Hi, Johnny. How are you? Right, well, your bought could have something to do with the radar station that was based here and the anti-aircraft guns. They were stationed here during the war, so um, it's possible that your bought could be in relation to that. So... Have we got the spirit of an, a serviceman that was here uh, during the war? Were you responsible for shooting down the V1s or enemy aircraft? It just said headstone. I don't think there's... There's only one headstone and that's... That's, grave. that's Jacob's grave. Oh, of course. That's Jacob's grave. Is it you, Jacob? Are yeah, you here with us? Talking to us. There is, as far as I'm aware, there is only one gravestone in this immediate area, and that's Jacob Forster's up on the cliff edge. Certainly is getting really, really cold. No, it was along, uh, I think Joe said it was along, I think Joe said it along the wall. Uh, as you were moving it along the wall, which was along, as which was along there. We have a gargoyle um, above there. You can just make out the top of it on the top of that window frame. Thank you, Johnny. Much appreciated. I'm wondering if that's what it's telling us to do, is yeah, to go to yeah. Jacob's headstone. This is the grave of Jacob Forster, the last known person to be... ...into there. As soon as we got here, it just came up with female. Johnny, um, we we welcome people to post any of their their live videos, broadcasts, and everything that we we post out on a Monday morning. Um, Truth beyond paranormal, we we believe in para unity, and so what we do is every Monday morning, I will post up a link for everybody to place their groups, pages, events, live feeds that they had um, into the group. 
No, we're not going off live, Mohammed. We're staying live now until my battery dies. Shaken. Not third. But thank you, Johnny, from Seekers of Souls Paranormal. Thank you. Um, you know, thank you for the love. Yeah, thank you. And we will, you know, obviously we'll we'll give you a mention on on Monday, um, and you're more than welcome. You know, into joining the group and 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 sharing your live feeds and events and groups and stuff on that um, that post that we make. Usually nine times out of ten, it's first thing Monday morning. Um, right, Graham. I think it was 1758. He was buried, wasn't it? Here. Yeah. 1758. He was buried here. Um, or was that when the church was dissolved? No, uh, the church was dissolved in 1758. Yeah, and it was 1796. Huh? 1796, he died aged 38. Right, 12, so... March 12th, 1796. So the church, the church was dissolved in 1758, and he was buried here in 1796, so he was buried in the unconsecrated ground, basically. So that could be why that you were pointed out to come to this headstone. If the church was dissolved, in 1758, he was he was buried on unconsecrated ground. Oh. Yeah. That's not good. No, it isn't. You dissolve the church, it becomes unconsecrated ground. And he was buried here in 1796. Yeah, so he's basically not... Uh, and then by 1920, the whole church had gone into the sea. <laughs> good times. Hmm, that sounds, <laughs> sounds about right, doesn't it? I'm not happy with being buried here, so I'm going to put the church into the sea. Yeah. That's... 1920 were the last remnants of the church went into the sea. Oh, so... My hand just got this weird electric shock. It's really painful. Yeah. That's right, Johnny. That's, that's what it's all about. Sharing what we've got and, and sharing about with the other groups. Um, where you can, oh, my, my, my light doesn't actually see that far, um, but um, I oh, can just make them out, just here where these branches are coming down, you've got about another seven or eight foot after that and this is the cliff edge, um, literally, you have the cliff edge which is about a 40 foot drop. Yeah, 40, 50 foot drop on the other on the other, I don't know if anybody got a torch that can reach to the back of those hedges there because my camera's not picking them up. There is some, oh, you can just make them out there. Look, Mike's just pointed it out. Behind them bushes there is the cliff edge and it's a 40, 50 foot drop down to the beach. Um, so not, uh, not very good and on the walk up here we had to literally walk within about three meters from the cliff edge to get round to this part of the path so jacob i jacob forster are you here with us are you walking around up here i've been told to wait bleeding bleeding great right. we're staying live mohammed um the reception may be a bit um, bit iffy here, but we are still live and we're going to stay live until my battery basically dies. I'm on the 38% at the moment, so I've gone from 70% down to 38% in the time we're going live. As we descended upon the beach and shoreline, for our final vigil, I decided to do a small experiment. I placed a small wicker heart upon the floor and we readied ourselves for the final vigil. A popular legend is that of the Dark Heart of Dunwich. A lady by the name of Eva was betrothed to a local cad, who then betrayed her with another woman and then ran off to sea. In a fit of rage, she walked down to the shoreline cut out a heart and threw it into the sea. And it is now believed that her spirit now haunts the shorelines, looking for her heart or lost love. 
It is also rumoured that if anybody was to find a wooden heart or stone heart on the beach, they are warned not to pick it up, for anybody in receipt of that would receive misfortune. Eva, if you are here with us, you're on this beach, can we come forward please? We come with the greatest respect and we know what happened to you. We'd just like to communicate with you. We have a box in front of us which will enable you to use words to communicate with us. Can you make that the, the box come up with the words we need to talk to you? Does anybody on the live feed want us to ask a question? It is Ethan's uh, sailor that has been seen to walk out into the sea. Are you here with us? As our investigation at Dunwich had come to an end, we decided to head back to the car park. As we crossed, we'd noticed a light was turning on and off inside one of the cars. Upon further investigation, we had discovered that it was one of the motion sensor lights. We found it was going off at random intervals. This we found very peculiar, as I had personally switched off all the lights before I put them back in the car. Sorry, now it's, yeah, it will be bright. There you go, um, now we can so see basically, you. Uh, Doc, here's a scene from the Lost Boys. The fire will rise. Don't you just hate it when you go to light a cigarette and the thing won't light, and all of a sudden you take it closer and then it decides to light right up your nostrils? I know, I smelled burnt hair quite a <coughs> There seems to be a floating wane. We really could do with some windows in this place. The last inhabitant. No, that doesn't sound right, does it? Does it sound alright? Last inhabitant? The last inhabitant of what? Just of, of the... Oh, and then Wayne... Wayne nearly fell off the chair. Um, can you do something to somebody else, please? Please, please don't delay me. <laughs> I'm using the camera. <laughs> you just see me go down, and you'll know why. She says she's gonna do it. No, <laughs> please don't. We have relocated. We have walked uh, a, a mile and a half from St James's Church back to um, the car park uh, where our equipment is and we have now reconvened at the top of the cliffs at the site of the Greyfriars Priory. Um, thanks. It's certainly been mean... Blah, blah, blah. I will talk properly. It's certainly... Oh, fuck it, I've done it again, look. It's certainly been more active. I'm sorry, I'm slightly perched like a bit of a weirdo at the moment. I won't, turn, I won't turn the camera. Yeah, no, it, it literally looks like I'm pooping. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, um, and it's just because of the fact that... Oh, breaking spinal cord. Give us what? Maybe give us your name. Give us What's a nice word, what we play Scrabble. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Give us a nice word, I need the points. Not normal. Not normal. Yeah. Well, not normal if it's not normal, it's paranormal. 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 How long have you been waiting for that to happen? <laughs> <laughs>